Hello, this is Nifty255. I'm here today because I wanted to start a beginner's tutorial series on how to mod Kerbal Space Program. With that said, welcome to Volume 1, Custom Parts, Episode 1, How the Game Works. In today's episode, we will discuss how the game operates and how it organizes information about your ships. First, we will talk about vessels. As I'm sure you might have guessed, a vessel is just that, a vessel that you fly. But in the game code, a vessel has a lot more going on than you'd think. Each vessel contains a collection of one or more parts, ranging from the Mark I capsule to those shiny new solar panels you just unlocked. Also, each vessel in flight contains information about its position, velocity, and even which celestial body's sphere of influence it's in. Whenever you design a vessel and save it, it becomes a .craft file, and whenever you launch it, it is saved to that profile's persistent .sfs file. That's about everything a vessel does, so let's talk about parts next. Whenever you design a ship, you want every part to have a purpose. Otherwise, it's just dead weight. Of course, dead weight as a simulated payload may be exactly what you're after, so I won't judge. But what is a part? What makes it function? Here's what a part is. A part is a single piece of the vessel you put it on, be it a fuel tank or a decoupler. A part is drawn on screen using game models that are linked to it. A part contains one or more part modules, which are responsible for the behavior of the part. And lastly, a part can also contain one or more resources, which can be used or produced by the, that part or other parts. Like vessels, parts contain generic information, but this information is special to all parts and only parts, such as the maximum temperature that part could withstand. Now that we understand what a part is, let's go in depth about part modules, so we can understand how each part behaves. A part module is little more than code files that are attached to parts. The code files contain the behavior the part should follow. A few example modules are the engine module, the command module, and the decoupler module. Modules, like parts and vessels, also contain information, but this information is so specialized to the module that only parts with the module can contain its information. However, unlike vessels and parts, modules can contain functions, which actually do things with the parts they are attached to. This is how modules control parts. Later on, we will look at how parts and modules are defined. Next, let's look at resources. Three of the most commonly used resources in the game are liquid fuel, oxidizer, and electric charge. These are defined separately from parts and modules, and will be discussed in another volume, but be aware that resources are used and produced by modules and stored on parts. Now, let's see how all this is organized with our favorite engine, the Rockomax mainsail engine. As you can see, the engine, which is a part, contains its own variables such as mass and max temp. The mainsail engine also contains two modules, module engines and module gimbal. It's fairly easy to figure out what these do, so let's move on to another example, our favorite fuel tank, the Rockomax Jumbo 64 fuel tank. You may have noticed that the tank doesn't have any modules. That's because we don't need it to do anything. Instead, we just need it to hold our fuel, which it uses resources for. Since this tank was clearly designed for rockets, it holds liquid fuel and oxidizer. Now, let's move on to how all this is defined. Each part, its modules, and its resources are defined inside what is commonly called a config file. Config files are little more than text files with a special extension. Here, I've provided an example config file for demonstration purposes. If you've never opened one before, the icon may be a blank page. In order to open it with Notepad, you need to tell Windows what it should be opened with. Right-click on the file and select Open With. If Notepad doesn't appear at first, you may need to click on the Other Programs drop-down. Find it, click Notepad, and click OK. The document should now have opened. Now that the part file is open, I can begin to explain what a part is. As you can see, there is a line here that says Part. That defines that there is a part being defined in this file, followed by these open and close brackets, and everything in those brackets is considered a part of the part. Here is where you find three variables, variable one, variable two, and variable three, all of different types. Typically, these variables would be along the lines of name equals then the name of the part, title equals what you would want the part to be named inside the game to the player, 
also things like mass attach rules for example you don't want things to attach to the side or something along those lines next up is a module definition this says that this part contains a module that is named name of module in order to create a custom module you need to create a custom code file and also this module can contain its own variables that will be read and then passed to the module code file. Lastly, this example part contains a resource called resource name. Currently, the amount is zero. It contains zero of this resource, and the maximum amount this part can contain is 9001. Also, this part is tweakable such that you, in the editor you can right click on it and add more of this resource. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more tutorials on how to mod KSP, leave a comment or a thumbs up. I personally don't care much for these things, but they do let me know if there's an interest. Until next week, this has been Nifty255.